seems to be quite a memorable movie. Though. Yeah. Actually, it was. Yeah. It is about a girl um, which lost her mother and she tries to find a way um, to stay in contact with her father but the new family of her father um, doesn't like her um, so well they try to stop the contact and she just tries to find help in her father. She has a very strong obsession for anime characters and for Japanese comics in general. So yeah, you can definitely see that in her style. She has a very bold style, which is underlined by her bold character. It also connects um, animes with real actors. Um, so always when she was really desperate and in a very difficult situation, um, it appeared as an anime and not with real actors. And I think that's really interesting. Um, because you really see what she was hoping for and then you see reality. They uh, make the, the cruel, the, they make the cruel scenes um, soft. Yeah, soft and help to feel like the, the, the main character and understand their feeling and also her soul. Other two important topics of the film were sexual abuse and also drug delivering because are uh, problems that teenagers face to it so it's quite common and it I think it's a good thing that a film talks about these situations. I do believe this movie is very important especially for um, the film it deals with like the death of a very important figure in your life and um, yeah, I think it kind of helps uh, watching this movie because if you found yourself in some certain situation on some similar ones you can feel lost, feel confused just uh, just like Arajuku did so um, I think it could be therapeutic to watch this kind of movie <laughs> I must say, I didn't quite like um, some characters and how they were sort of portrayed, for example, the father. Throughout the whole film, you get sort of the feeling that he is an incomplete asshole <laughs> and he, she's, um, and he's not quite empathetic towards, towards um, his daughter. But I don't think that's quite the case. Like, 
if I put myself into his shoes, I would say that he's just afraid to make anything wrong again. And he has heard her before, so he's quite careful with that. But yeah, the movie actually lacked on portraying this depth of character. So I'd give this movie, Harajuku, maybe a four. No, no, <laughs> wait, wait, this all over. So I would. I would rate this movie Harajuku 2.5 till 3 just because it's a sort of a stable middle thing right there. It has its positive points that I mentioned and negative points. And I would recommend this film for, for teenagers or young people just because I think this, for example, prostitution scene was maybe a bit explicit so you may have to watch out on that.